who are trying to make a breakthrough with lasers have realized they've essentially made a shrink ray. Not, it's uh, not the same thing you would expect from movies like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, but KXN's Alyssa Gord shows us how this new way of making things smaller may help us understand how our bodies grow and heal. The shrink ray from the Despicable Me movie reminded UT professor Jason Shear of the technology he developed in the lab. We came across this phenomenon, this shrinking phenomenon, through uh, serendipity. The lab realized their lasers have the power to shrink material they're growing tiny cells on, the equivalent of shrinking an SUV down to smart car size. The researchers can control which parts of the material shrink. For example, they can collapse parts like the blue area here without disturbing things like the red cell. This lets them mimic the big changes that happen when cells are growing inside our own bodies. You can see there's kind of this flashing light, and that's our laser beam being scanned, which you can see after scanning, the lower set of posts have been shrunken. Shear thinks this could hold answers about how outside factors affect cell growth, wound healing, and organ implants. To learn how cells function in the body, we want to take them outside where we can observe them very closely. And he says the laser might be able to shrink other things. I wouldn't go as far as to suggest that the lasers would be useful in shrinking actual living things like you see in the movies. Science, not fiction. Advancing understanding beyond a simple cell culture. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. These researchers are growing their cells in a mixture of cow blood and jello. It's gross, but <laughs> they say it best mirrors the conditions where actual cells grow in the human body.